full mile before we, we could start to shoot. Ah! Oh, okay, so we have the best shock rods, the most powerful, awful shock rods. Ah! That fucking shock you really bad. If you need to shock somebody or shock anyone else or shock yourself, if that's the thing, you, you, you gotta just come to us and like, ow, oh, god damn, oh fuck. Oh, oh, all right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. Our team already has four guns, isn't that enough? I'm asking for real, I really don't know. Trust me, we need this. Plug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlion. Oh, another Gatlion! That's fantastic! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Don't get mad at me for not knowing this, because remember, my brain's been scrambled. But how would we find him? We do it the old-fashioned way. And ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. I haven't known you very long, Gene, but I respect you more than anyone else I've ever met in my life. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Hello there, human fan. And welcome to Human TV. I hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Detective mode? Hey, what's so skinny on this giblets, fella? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Very keen of you, Slam. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? And two and two makes four. Let's do what the suit says, kid. All the terrifying movies they made back on their home planet. Ugh, these movies are sick and twisted. And we're about to show you one of them. I got a bright idea. Why don't you use that scanner of yours to get our fucking bearings? Whoa, I came in too hot there. I'm sorry. Hey, can I get some order? Can I get a side of order with this law? <laughs> Ah, our first suspect. We had to find out if they knew anything about Dr. Giblets, but they weren't gonna make things easy for us, see? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. What? Why do you care? If you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches, and yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Am I... what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it, I promise. And now, I, now I'm going around with super confident have any pimples not that that's really sort of the thing but anyway yeah it's great that's right i'm gonna be a bleed and i'm gonna tell you what happened stop right there oh, slick yeah. we're looking for dr giblets you're gonna help or what slick what the fuck are you talking like that for oh jesus christ leave me alone uh and i'll see you at my customer line quick the drug guys no i don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate i'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? Yeah, I want you to meet. Uh, I want you to meet him. He's uh, looking for a wife. Yeah. How you doing? Like with your weird 
interrogation? Awful! Oh. Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Where's Davis? What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? Right what do I do? Okay. Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! Okay, that's it. I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy! You need anything else, or can I fucking go? Ooh, bummer. They were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth, according to my censors. So let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. You look cool. Can we talk to you? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so uh, how about no? Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. It's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk, but no cracks about my name. Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woohoo, that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blordo and mention Michael Taint. You, over there, come over here. I've got some food for ya. Yeah, that's right, food. I said food. Hi, Blordo. We're looking for Dr. Giblets. Can you help? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. Oh, did we do something wrong? Sorry, should we not ask about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something or beat it, buster. Piece of shit! I'm gonna kill him! <sighs> Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight Lodge is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here! If anyone sees me talking here, I'm dead! Understood, sir. Yes, sir. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives! That was an S-rank interrogation! Oh, it's you. Back to hurt my feelings again? Leave them alone! Hey, what's up, best friend? Don't wake in that crowd for me. The night was getting longer by the minute. Soon we'd be at the new High on Life store. But what would be waiting for us there? Oh, oh, yeah, hey, knows. hey, yeah. This could uh, be crazy. Get it. You don't want to talk to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Nobody wants to talk to the broken leg guy. I get it. Hey, we heard you were asking around for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stay. When you live in the darkness like me, you make a whole lot of energy. It's just the life of the detective guy.
Solve a mystery, so you gotta kill guys. Fucked up places, see? They take everything from you and they make you live in the sludge. They even take your sludge, see?
yourself outside the high on life, see? What's the big deal? Why was it attracting the crowd? So many questions. And I'm asking them for real. I'm not paying attention. I need the new hyperbong. You don't understand. Hey, don't worry. This Detectives like can always cut lines. Loyalty. The rules do not apply to the like, law. Uh, I'm addicted to drugs. Door number 792. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Hi, Pseudo. I'm a detective now. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Well, that's a great idea. You're an even better detective than me. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell hyperbongs and hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, high on life hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fixed. Illegal? No, 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 not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? Woo, these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation, you're doing great. But you do get a D ranking, because that one sucked. Uh, hello, hello, and welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick. Uh, I can be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 midnight lunch, and we literally just opened, so uh, i only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop proof case for your hyperbong? Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before, but I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. Ooh, boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Huh? Nah, uh, 
think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyperbongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Oh man, this again. Look man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store, or who built it, or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume, I got this manager gig, I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like, I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. Slow down there, slick. You're saying you know Dr. Giblets? Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around though, I don't really know where he is. What? I told you, I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where it don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. Just when things started to look all rosy, two knucklehead lugs showed up to hassle us. You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. You get to meet a lot of cool, silly people when you're a detective. Sometimes even in the same kind of voice, too. Everyone should be a detective. A body. This was classic mystery stuff. Except it seemed very obvious this guy was trampled to death. Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trip. Oh, you can go ahead and take his mag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like, morally, he was very fucked up. Bad morals? Shouldn't have been friends with him, really. Not really a good idea. Don't know really why. I liked him so Yeah, that's fine. Totally take those mag boots. Detectives aren't perfect. Sometimes we steal property off a dead corpse. But we'll do whatever it takes to solve the case. Hey, six moves. You're making good use of those mag boots. You're using those things way better than Gabe Glutes ever did. Look at you. Criminal spotted.
stay in the air forever! Do not land! Welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. Oh, hey, you guys were really funny earlier. Oh, Ari, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash, buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little walk trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. We get to meet a famous guy? So? You're gonna step through the portal door and go see Clug, or what? Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hello. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Oh, that's a good idea. I think we were already gonna do that. But then we hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. You're being hard to understand. Just tell us where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. And then you want us to, you know. Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Wow, what? That's gonna be helpful, thank you. You're doing great work. Make like a tree and leaf. A leaf. Make like a, you know. What's this? What did we just pick up? Oh, right, sorry. The map data to get to Dr. Giblets. Forgot, I'm on the same page now. Really good. 
Cook may or may not have shown us where Dr. Giblets is. I'm a little confused, as usual. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. And still come tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came up. What are you doing waiting here? Get out of here! And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. At night, when the mask is off. How fast do you think you're going right now? How many MPHs? I don't even want to guess. I feel like I get it really wrong. It's fucking embarrassing. Oh, man, I'll quarter mile per hour. Fuck, that was an insane guess. I'm sorry. I'm gonna eat all the battery hydrogen.
Thank God, thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. We stumbled across another body. It looked like a classic case of... Hey, what happened to you? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half, like a cut in half. A G3 base. That can only mean one thing. Not sure what, though. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Do they still have a chance of survival? Who's to say? No way to know. Not even with all the blood and half their body missing. We weren't going anywhere until it was over. No, no. It, it's my time to go. Oh, thank you for, for staying with me as I die. Oh, just, just don't leave. Okay. And I feel it. Here I go. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. And just like that, another candle is snuffed out in the wind. So cool. Hey, 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 where, where are you guys going? You, you promised me to stay with me until... Is Dr. Giblet supposed to be here? I feel like he's supposed to be here. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Okay, great. That sounds really fun. Oh, huh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died, but it's great for someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what? That makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you. That's what you're doing. Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy, uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments, I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there. That's what they're used for. That's what drones are for. They're for combat. That's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. And just like that, the chase was on. Howdy there, cowboys! Uh, oh shit, sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit, I mean, howdy there, detectives! Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning! Okay, back to the These must be old hyperbomb prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out, now we can move on to the next thing. Look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms, but we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door. All 
right, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go go find more clues, baby. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Giblets was... Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. We spotted another Gatling. It didn't look so good. But then again, neither did I. I look crazy. Who am I to judge? Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful, did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows, let's find out. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. So you didn't need us to find clues. That's okay, it was still really fun. Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. In the end, Dr. Giblets took the easy way out. A little disappointing because I was looking forward to a fight. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Dr. Giblets status report, no life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. Another ambush. That's detective life for you. So many ambushes. Everyone calls me crazy. Look at me now! I'm dead and you're trapped in here! Fall and pray to that glorious science you were ever so jealous of! That's right, Timothy! I know you were here. And for what? The inheritance? My last? Or just a plain old space Oedipus complex? No matter! Just as you had no qualms about killing your own father, I shall gladly spill the blood of my firstborn! Farewell, Timothy Jimmons! Recordings. Crew, 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 crew. It's always the 
excited to see who he's mad at next. Okay, this is my final message. If you're still alive to hear this, then I made a great mistake. I was wrong. Only one person could have survived all of that. Myself. I killed myself. Oh, wow. I didn't see that coming. It makes sense, you know. I always hated myself. I knew I'd get the guts to do it one of these days. Good for me. Then there. So, okay, I killed myself. Whoops. My apologies to whoever's hearing this. I hope you'll forgive me for making you go through all of that. You can leave now. Have a good day. Jimlet's out. R.I.P. Jimlet's. I pooped. Remember when we were detectives earlier? As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than I ever could have expected. Initially, I saw a great potential. Oh, the other Gatlian! The I think they called him Let's Do It. He was supposed to be a big deal on Gatlas, I guess. But you know me. I can't remember anything cool like that. It's fine. Humans are going to change everything. Hello? Hello there! You alive, guy? Oh no, I think he's sleeping. Or you know what? Probably he's dead. I don't know, maybe Gene can help? I just wanted to say, you know, today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, oh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up, so see you later, bye! And with that, everyone lived happily ever after! It was a happy, perfect day, and the children were laughing, see? Amazing. The end. Okay, I'm done with that voice. Dr. Giblet's all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. Let it go. Come on over. Let's bow wow. Poke his crown. And Jill can come like after. At night, when the mask is off. Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblet's. Um, he is dead. But we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit. That's great. I I I I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's he's not really functional. I don't I don't I don't, I don't think he's dead. But oh, god damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay. Th th thanks, Gene. Well, you know, if, if you can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing! I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay, come on over. Let me give you the news. All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right, which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, this is pretty embarrassing. All right, here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while, 
It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh... I'm going to see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and make... Oh, sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Change the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the four. All right, Bounty Hunter, let's head to Applebee's and we're, let's find your sister. All right, guns. No funny business while the bounty hunter's away. Look at us, just you and me again, you know? Just like old times, like the dream team, you know? Uh, so Applebee's, it's in the slums, which you, you know, you, you probably knew that. So your suit can point us in the right direction. So you take the lead, bounty hunter. You, you, you know, we'll talk with, you know, we'll, we'll, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna chat. It's gonna be good. It's gonna, it's all good. Don't worry about this. Don't get shooken up about the, I don't, I, there's no reason to be, uh, you know, don't feel weird or anything. I'm not trying, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, I'm sorry about being weird back there. It's just, well, oh, there's something I need to tell you. Whew, this is this is hard. Just give me a second. Oh, you got this, Kenny. Come on. What are you Broken doing? Guy, Making still it here. See you later. All right, Kenny, you're talking to yourself now. They can hear you. It's not so hard. Just tell them everything. Never judge me, right? I mean, we're such close partners at this point, you know? Like, nothing I could say could ruin that, right? <laughs> I'm just, just kidding around. Just, I'm just joking around. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm out of my body right now, I think. Oh boy, okay, so that um, that dying Gatlian that we saved, let's do it. Let's say we can fix him up and, he, you know, back alive. The thing is, oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I, I'm just trying to figure out how to say this properly or, or you know, like communicate um, how we normally do, right? You know, the Gatlian we saved, let's do it. Uh, he knows some things about me that, that, that the others don't know and it's, it's nothing too crazy, you know? It's, it, it, okay, no, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. All right, we are uh, we are heading to App. Sorry, I, I don't mean to be cryptic. I'm just oh, this is tough. You know, this is really hard. I, I just don't want you to hate me. I'm worried about your sister. You you think Tweak is working today? Welcome to Applebee's. Table for two, right this way. Oh, uh, actually, we're wondering if someone named Tweeg is working today. He didn't show up for his shift, sorry. Do you still want a table? Um, you know what? You know what? Maybe this is a good spot to talk. Uh, yes. We, 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 will, we will take a table. Enjoy your meal. Your waiter will be with you shortly. Thank you. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry for making us sit here at Applebee's. I know we're really focused on Lizzie, and that's kind of the important thing, but would you mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you first? Right, look. Yeah, I know you're worried about Liz. Wait, you're just hungry? Well, you know, we are at Space Applebee's. I mean, it's a problem solved, I get. I guess, you know, just just order something, you know? I, I'm going to um I, I'm going to tell you my whole deal if, if that's cool while while you chomp. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3 like yours. You know, all my people got enslaved. You you, you remember that, right? You know all that, right? Sorry, of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? <sighs> okay, I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, I, I know how it sounds. 
I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. I'm gonna be your waiter for the day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here. Okay, sure thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bounty hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd been all over and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew, you know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. All right, now what were you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, I'm sorry. We're in the middle of something, please. Great, it's coming right up. Oh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but where, where were we? Okay, oh, right, um, obviously a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers, and well, you know, that led us to the G3, and Garmantuous, you know, he'd never seen an alien like me, you know, a talking gun with endless firepower, and well, looking back, you know, I see how stupid I was, you know, I, I really do, but at the time, I couldn't tell, you know, I was being taken advantage of. I was going nowhere. No, everyone thought I was a fuck up. You know, I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something, you know? Open up. Here comes the appetizer train. Chicka, 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 choo, choo. Thank you. I ho hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order that main course. You betcha. I'm going to get that order right to the cook. Okay, thank you. So... I led the G3 right to Gatlas. Do you see where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know, but they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Let's Do It. He was my best friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived and I, I got him killed. In his dying moments, I told him everything, like I'm telling you now, about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal, how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet, how I got everyone killed, except Let's Do It survived. Somehow, the G3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power. God, if we can really bring him back, do you, do you see my problem, right? Like, I I'm gonna have to tell the other guns what I did, you know, or else he'll tell them. All right, I'm back. Hope those tummies are ready for some yummies. Bon appetit. Dude, take a fucking hint. Can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here? Emotional thing. Uh, you know, this is important baggage shit we're dealing with here. Take a hint and get out of here for a second. Uh-oh, someone's feeling grumpy. Oh, wonderful. Now, wh what the fuck is happening outside? Lizzie? Don't follow us. Twig and I are in love, and we're going to travel the galaxy in his space RV. Uh, actually, this is moving kind of fast. Help me, please. that sentence. We're in okay, love. Okay, we gotta get to them. Oh, shit, yeah. We, I can't dine and dash. I love this place. Don't want to get blacklisted. Oh, fuck. Okay, this, this, this changes shit. This is bad. I'm here live in downtown Blim City where, as you can see, we've been invaded by violent and agitated G3 cartel forces. No one can say for sure why they're here. We're here to kill you, Bounty Hunter! <laughs> ah, okay. Well, there you have it. It looks like this is only a problem if you are that Bounty Hunter that they're trying to kill. I'm People Puckerton, Blim City News. Stay safe out there. Uh, so, I've got some more bad news. Uh, you were doing such a good job with all these bounty hunting rights. Uh, you really were, so I uh, made some new commercials with you and uh, to drum up more business as well. Let's just say they had your house's address. Uh, now the G3 knows where we are, so they're attacking the house. So, get back there quick. 
or they're gonna kill me and the other guy. My bad. Fucking did as if it couldn't get any worse. I've been here the whole time, but, but don't worry, I'll keep your secret safe. I'm, I'm not a snitch.
uppercase X dash W W capital bolt C four uh, five six seven C back on. to capital uh, five eight nine two dash one seven four two 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 six five three four four. Fuck, this is a long eight, coordinates. Nine, this is why no one types uh, space coordinates seven, manually. Fucking five five five. That's right. Uh, the four three dash two one one eight okay. seven Got four. It. Scramble time. And here we go. Fuck. That was close. I may be 230, but I don't want to die yet. Are we? D d did we make it? Yeah. We're safe. Nobody on our tail, but, uh, where are we? Am I missing something? I'm not picking up any signs of life out there. Then we're in the right spot. Kenny, where did you just take us? It was the only safe place I could think of. Careful. It's toxic out there. I set up an atmos bubble so you can breathe, so don't wander too far. Or do. What does it matter anymore? Welcome to Gatlas, my home planet. I didn't realize it was this bad. Fuck, there's nothing left. This was our home? Pretty soon Earth is gonna look like this too. We have got to stop the G3, bitch. Sorry, nobody answered me. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? How is it out there? We, we, we don't want to talk about it. That bad, huh? Well, uh, don't get all depressed about it. We still got more guys out there to kill. Let's powwow real quick. Look, I hate to be pushy, but are you ready for your next bounty? You know what, kid? Maybe you should get some rest. Let's save the bounty hunting for tomorrow. Head on upstairs. I'll take care of things down here. I hate to say it, but Gene's right. Let's get some shut-eye. We'll make this right starting tomorrow. Strawberry lips controls. Don't worry about you, sister. I'm, I'm looking for her. I mean, don't get me wrong. She sucks and I hate her and I hope she dies, but, uh, well, you seem pretty torn up about her. I'll make some calls and find her. I promise. All right, you're finally up. Okay, let's get back to it, I guess, you know? I, I, I hope Gene has a lead on Lizzie. Let's go. Yeah, look who finally decided to wake up. You know how late it is? Because I don't. There's no sun on this dead rock of a planet. By the way, I got you a little sum sum. A new suit upgrade. Extra overshield. You're welcome. Let's get to business. I've got something you like. You can breathe easy. I'll get right to it. I tracked down Lizzie's bio signal. Oh, that's great. So, so she's... She's alive. Don't worry. But she's on the move. Probably on a ship, so we have to act fast or we'll lose her. If you're ready, just step through the portal door. know what I want. Okay, fine. I don't know either. Isn't the sex good? I don't know. I can't even tell if we're doing it right. We're aliens. None of our shit even lines up correctly. You could be pregnant and I would fucking wonder how that happened. My cum goes all over outside of your body. Well, okay. I don't know if it's good either. Your body is really confusing. God, I'm just so confused. Aren't we in love? You're asking me that, dude. You're the one who dragged me out on this trip. I wasn't looking for anything serious. I just wanted to get laid. But even that turned out to be some weird 
fucking Hellraiser puzzle. Oh, shut up. Don't blame this on me. There's plenty of ways you could have figured out how to use my equipment, so to speak. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, yeah, thank God. You came just in time to save me. Me is who you came to save. Thank you. Fuck your sister, dude. Woo. Cuckoo. Girls, am I right? Love is tough. What the fuck are you doing here? Uh, I don't know. We're a little worried about you. God, everyone needs to chill out. When have you smoked? What, you're a smoker now? Wait, what is it? Camels? Marlboro? Marble? 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 Marbleos? Marlboro? Marble? Marbleos? Marlboros? I don't know. What's it to you? What do you want? Well, I don't want to come home. It's not even my home anymore. It's Jean's jack-off mansion, and it's your little clubhouse where you can unwind for a few minutes between bouts of, oh, I don't know, murdering criminal gang lords. Hey, I'll go home. You can take me home. How about that? I'm your new sister. Congratulations. Just get me the fuck out of here. No, you're staying, Tweed. We're in love. Say it. Say we're in love. Okay, never mind. I can't go. I have to be in love with your sister. Look, I hate to be insensitive, but it's dangerous out in space for humans right now. We even got chased out of Blim City by the G3. Whoa, really? Yeah, it was rough. Listen, I get that there's a lot right now that's bothering you, but can we convince you at least to just come home with us and figure it out there? But I'm busy being in love with Tweeg. Uh, yeah, we're busy. Sorry. So just leave. Unless... What else were you worried about? Oh yeah? How? Yeah, how about you just let me handle this on my own? You already decided to become a weird alien killing expert. Don't strain yourself trying to be a dating expert, too. Um, yeah, no offense, but you're kind of butting in, dweeb. Hey, only I can talk to them that way. And look, I'm sorry I dragged you out here. Really, I am. I know you didn't want to. But I just, I wanted to know for sure if, if we worked or not. Oh, yeah, it's cool. I forgive you. I just think, oh, oh, really? Even after forcing you to leave with me? Yeah, okay, it's fine, yeah. Did you know I almost sold you out to the G3? They were offering, like, a lot of pesos to find out where you were. And that would have been way worse. What the fuck, Twig? You piece of shit. Wait, what? You're, you're joking, right? No, I really almost did it. Like, I had my phone out and everything. If Lizzie hadn't dragged me on this trip, I probably would have. I'm not good. I'm a shithead. Lizzie shouldn't be dating me. Gene was right. And it's a little fucked up because he was being a misogynist, but he was actually right. I do suck, and I'm fine with it. That's just who I am, and I love it. So fuck off. Love it. Sue me if you don't like it, but good luck finding a judge who'll take that case. Or a lawyer. Fuck it. You're a fucking idiot. Well, Jesus. I was about to do a, a whole thing about how we should take a step back and slow things down, but you know what? Fuck you, Tweek. Yeah, th yeah, Tweek. Fuck you. Hey, thanks for coming to get me. Seriously, it, it means a lot. Uh, okay, enough. Let's go. You got it. Smell you later, Tweek. We're back. You're safe. Uh, I mean, fuck you. And a fuck you, too. Okay, happy reunion. Everyone's fine. Can, can we just get back to bounty hunting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Clug just sent over the data on Nipulon, so you can head out while I fix Les to it. Did you, uh, know how much firepower this guy's packing? He's got to be at least ten times as powerful as any of you other Gatlians. Wait, you really think you're going to be able to fix him? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably have them all patched up by the time you get back. You're serious? That 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 soon? Yeah. Don't worry about it, kid. Your friend's gonna be just fine. Old Papa Gene watched a bunch of GooTube tutorials, and now he knows his way around cybernetics. That's 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 great. It's it's just what you don't sound too happy. 
You know how hard I've been working to save this guy? Fuck. Whew. Okay. I guess it's now or never, bounty hunter. Can you set the other guns down on the table for me, real quick? Hey, everybody. I, I, I need to come clean about... Uh, well, this is way tougher than I thought. Spit it out! Yeah, spit it out! No, I, I, I can't. I, you're gonna hate me. Dad, th we, we don't have secrets. We're a family! Well, hold on. I might decide to hate him. It's okay, Kenny. You can tell us. Oh, just fucking say it. Okay, fine. If you don't hear it from me, you're just gonna hear it from Les Dewitt when he wakes up. Okay, what if I were to tell you that I'm the reason the G3 invaded Gatlas and enslaved our race? We'll be mad. I don't think I could get over it. Yeah, don't say that. You know what? It would really suck to hear you say Kenny, that. Kenny, come on. That's not true, right? No, no, no. That would be impossible. Are you doing a bit? Okay, well, there's no, there's more to the story than just oh, a... Fuck, he's scrambling for words. It really is true. He really did cause the downfall of our civilization. Kenny, how? That doesn't even make sense. How can it be your fault? I left Gatlas before the G3 invaded. But, but how could that be possible? We didn't even have interstellar travel on Gatlas yet. I ran into an alien smuggler who crashed his ship on our planet, and I was going nowhere, and, and, and he took me with him on these adventures, and it was supposed to be, you know, this fun, awesome thing, and but then we got mixed up doing the wrong job with the wrong crowd. Garmantuous and the G3, and I accidentally led them right to Gatlas. It all happened so fast, I, I thought they killed Les Do It. I, I told him everything as I watched the light leave his eyes. I didn't know he, I didn't know he was gonna survive. You mean you didn't think you'd ever have to tell us the truth. No, 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 that's not it. I, I... Oh, this is all sorts of fucked up, Kenny. I don't even know what to say. See? I'm not the biggest fuck up here. Not now, dude. Everyone, please. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know what I was doing. We're so close to taking down the G3. Let's just... Oh, okay. Let's just pretend you're not the reason everyone we know and love is dead, yeah? Sure. Easy. Done. What's next on the agenda? Forgive Garmantuous too? Come on. That, that, that's not fair. Don't fight. I'm sure we can all figure this out. No, Creature. He can't just drop that bomb on us and expect everything to be the same. I, I'm sorry. Look, I hate to be this guy, but we're running out of time. Nipulon may not stay where he is for long, so I know things aren't... The ideal, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll finish the job. And then you're out of our lives, Kenny. Come on, Sweezy, you don't mean that. Enough. Just pull yourselves together for this mission, at least. You're professionals. You're bounty hunters. Act like it. Mm hmm Fine. Huh. Okay, yeah. Gather everyone up. It's time to get back on track. Nipulon just flew back into his drug lounge on Port Tureen, so we got a strike now. Can you handle that? She, meanwhile, with strawberry lips controls, and like an ass riding Let's up. just get this- Oof. That was a doozy, huh? Moist. It's just one thing after another, isn't it? And I, I don't know about all that, but uh, I'm glad you got your sister back. Thanks for doing that. I am so learned in the amorous art, that when men I crush to my dreaded heart, or to them... Strawberry lips cajoles, and like an asp writhing on burning coals. Moist on my lips, and I can lull to sleep thine ancient conscience in. Огромное спасибо за просмотр. Подписываемся, ставим лайки, обсуждаем. До новых встреч.